Welcome to the Narrowboat at Jamesville. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. I've now got to work on the second board. Unfortunately, Jim is uh, not here today. So, I'm on my own. And this board, I've discovered, is quite heavy. Uh, so... to paint the underside of it. Uh, there's not so much room in this one at the moment. And this MDF is kind of easy to break it. So I need to mark out the whole, oh bloody this is a flu, uh, and it's over, oh, right okay, so I'll mark out the holes in this one, um, cut the holes out, actually I can use that board, yeah so that shouldn't be too hard, and then I've got to trim the hatch of that one there, because getting in and out of this boat is pretty tricky, um, and I've got to trim it from the inside using a multi-tool. Right, let's get those old bits out. No. Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Right, mark them out and then I can cut them, seal them and paint this. As you can see, I've started to make some cuts here on this. It's not particularly easy to get it line up. On the last sheet, I did it a bit oversized. So I'm gonna trim it here so then I can at least see what I'm doing uh, in terms of getting it lined up for the timber. So, uh, but this is MDF, so safety first. Fits. All right. see what I mean now about the, the lamps I know you've got to have a bit of OCD to kind of spot it um, but they're not going to be central because of where that is because obviously it's on that line there is the middle point so um, as I said it's okay the other problem is is that if I turn the lights off you might be able to see yeah um, the fit because of that ridge is uh, well you see that basically um, and the same is going to be for the mushroom vent so I'm not going to really want that hence the fact that I'm going to build that um, kind of plinth that goes down the middle it's going to be kind of like that so you see both that line and that line it'll just be kind of wide enough to take the lamps and the mushroom vent cover and things like that
Right, that's all been trimmed back around the hatch now and it's had a good soaking of PVA. I'm going to basically put loads of coats of PVA and all the stuff because it's going to be quite vulnerable. And that board is drying, so I'll come back to that. Well, the glue dried. I put it on pretty thick, but it did dry quite nicely. So uh, I now need to slap some paint on it. Right, this board is now painted and dried. Um, I'm going to attempt to offer this up on my own. Uh, I've got the props at the ready. And kind of, as once I kind of get it to a certain point, hopefully the props will do the rest. Um, and if I can do it on my own, then it bodes well for the rest of the boat. If I can't, then I'm going to have to move the boat so I'm near people again, because I'm on my own. I'm just going to muller the board here doing this. Right, let's find someone. Yeah. Oh, bless Rob for driving up here to uh, help me get this board up. That is bang on. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. That's pretty stiff, isn't it? It's no, no flex. Yeah. No, that's better. There's nothing there. No. It makes the boat look a lot bigger. Yeah. It's amazing the difference just putting the second one up yeah. makes. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm really happy with that. The important thing uh, is to make sure obviously all the lines line up. Um, the seams here are less, less important, although they're pretty good to be honest. Um, but it shows I definitely need that central plinth. But yeah, that's really nice. And that's only like, you know, the matte finish it comes with. So once it's all painted up, that's going to look pretty good. I've given the area around the flue a decent soaking with uh, PVA. And obviously I've made the holes now for the to take in uh, my decorative ring. So uh, I just wanted to PVA those holes. Now I can get all that securely mounted. Right, we're all back together. Happy with that. Yeah, it looks decent. This is such a lovely place to moor here having that waterfall in like the, uh, right next to the boat. It's a really, I don't know, it's enjoyable. I'm on my way down to meet Rob on Serafina, who has decided to turn around and come back towards Berkhamstead. So if I can get him up to Berkhamstead tonight, that means he might help me with another board tomorrow. It's all about the ceiling. So yeah, I'm coming down here and I bought my windlass this time so I can open the locks for him as I approach. There's no traffic coming down. Just going to be mindful of the levels, but all these locks should be left with the left left empty with the uh, lower paddles open anyway. So they should all be open, uh, kind of set for us. And that waterfall there, just below sewer lock, is less enjoyable to moor alongside. What a lovely setting. And I can just see Serafina making her way. And I think she's got her nav lights on. That is the first nav light action of the year. What a beautiful evening this is gonna be.
Here he comes. Back at the dead of night. Now this has already been glued all around it. Just got to paint it in a sec. And this one is going up to the pocket door and it's got to kind of basically end there, which gives me enough room to slide that wall in and out um, with the rail on it. Um, and obviously that'll just be that gap we covered up by the trim. I've cut the holes out for the lamps. There's only two, so this is quite straightforward. So paint this up, let it dry, and then see if Rob's around and get it put up. Rob and I are just doing the final line up for this. It's not easy because until you put the middle screws in, it's kind of got a bit of a bend in it. So um, I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Excuse the hair. Um, it's kind of getting towards my spring haircut. Right now, I've got good news. Uh, someone who watches the channel has come to pick up or is on their way to pick up uh, the unused PVC sheets. So I've got four of them there, so I hope they want that. I'll get in there. I had to move these boards about, but that lovely couple took all of my PVC sheets. So they took the four new ones and the two kind of wasted ones that I had already previously put up. So that's a right result. Just got cardboard there now and two bits of ply. Uh, that is absolutely brilliant. And they gave me 40 quid for the boat fund. I told them I'm going to be spending that on screws mostly. But that is a brilliant bit of space clearing. And for them, they are using it to line something to do with hay and, ho and horses so um i don't know protect some wall apparently anyway they said it's gonna be perfect for that so happy days right now i can prep the next board which is this one here and it's to go in this space here um yeah so i just need to work out now what's going to happen with the top of that cupboard because this is the pocket door. Um, that's going to have to be trimmed, isn't it? That won't be all right. But that's going to have to come off, possibly. Well, I might have to do it a different way once the ceiling's in. And I'm going to need a batten across there to actually put the ceiling in. Right, I've got some work to do in here. All right, this has been slightly redesigned. So the batten fits in. And the ceiling can come kind of right up to, well, basically up to there. Leave a little gap for trim. Right, let's spray foam this in place. The next board has been glued and is now drying. And that is to go in the midship's cabin, which is going to continue. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a break because of the... Uh, the bit where the door is, but it's going to continue that line or these lines all the way down to the next bulkhead, which will be exciting, won't it? Rob's used his gangplank, so he's got a quick access to my boat to help me with the uh, ceiling panels. And I'm hoping I'm going to get one more put in today. Line. 
is it? It's really hard to see. I just don't want to come over to starboard slightly. You know what? I think it looks like it's... I think it needs to shift over on this side here. Yeah. Oh yeah, this midship's cabin now is really nice with that ceiling on. That's really helped it. And because the width of the pocket doors ain't much, it means that the gap in the ceiling really ain't much, really, you know, not very noticeable. I think I'm gonna put some kind of curve on it, maybe with the trim, I'm not sure yet. Or maybe just keep it like that and just have straight trim. That would look quite hidden, wouldn't it? Anyways, um, yeah, this is good. Now uh, is kind of, I'm not too sure what to do on the next bit. Basically, I've got two full boards left and this expanse here. So I can either have a full board in the bedroom with a kind of a, Tri you know, trim going across the middle of it um, or I could use the off I don't really want to have a seam in the middle of the bathroom I don't really need to I reckon I can do the whole thing because otherwise I'm gonna have the seam like not in the center and then I'll have to have two bits of trim in the bathroom so I'm thinking I might just do a full board in the bathroom with one central bit of trim to match everything else so that's what I've done in the midships So there'll be a bit of off cut on that board. And then the next one will go from the other side of the pocket door down eight foot. It's pretty much all of that. Yeah, it would be. That's one board. Okay, cool. All right, so that's one board. Yeah, this is one board, uh, which means that on this trim here, that one might, uh, there might not be anything on the ceiling for that one, but I might be able to get away with that because that's where the shower is going to be there. So I might be able to kind of hide that a little bit. It won't be as noticeable, but the rest of the boat will all match up then. Perfect. Oh yes, the boat looks so much more kind of spacious and airy and brighter now. This is so good. Uh, when the light reflects on it through the windows, it's cool. There's a bit of a void area here, window-wise. You kind of notice that on the ceiling now. But um, 
Yeah, I'm well happy with this. Thank you very much to Saki Bugger for putting me onto this stuff. Uh, so, cheers, pal. Um, yeah, this is decent. I'm going in with loads of glue after putting it up. So it's all, all the edges and kind of still around the holes and everything like that. I've done the hatch about three times, but where it was kind of resting, it bits have got damaged. There was a bit here where I sanded loads out and then filled it with glue and stuff. So it seems to be pretty good. So I'm just going to continue this now. Um, I've got you know, the last two little bits to do and then that is it. The ceiling is complete. Well, ish. I now then need to make that central column bit um, and then do the trim off it but um, for the moment this is kind of okay the trim is going to be the same or that central plinth thing is going to be that so what's that the birch ply um, so I can make that quite nice I reckon out of that and then I can space out the lights and the mushroom vents vents they're already spaced out kind of perfectly already the lights four foot intervals but yeah I'm well chuffed with this um, thank you so much to Teresa for picking up that PVC. I hope it. Uh, hope you got it home all right and everything was uh, hunky-dory. Um, cheers to uh, Paul Hardman as well for um, buying me some coffees. It all went into the boat fund along with the 40 quid from Teresa. So um, most of it is going on screws and other bits and pieces at the moment, but it is, um, yeah, really required. So thank you so much. It makes a massive difference. So we're just keeping it all going, to be honest. So uh, yeah, um, I will continue the ceiling over the next couple of days. Rob will be back at work. Hopefully I'll find someone else around to give us a hand. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you're well. Take care. Bye-bye.